James Edmund Kahn was an American actor who appeared in films and on television. He was nominated for various awards in the entertainment business, including an Academy Award, two Primetime Emmys, four Golden Globes, and a motion picture star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1978. On the evening of July 6, 2022, this legendary actor died. In a brief note posted to the social media network on July 7th, his official Twitter account acknowledged the American actor's death. The full statement reads, It is with great sadness that we inform you of the passing of Jimmy on the evening of July 6. The family appreciates the outpouring of love and heartfelt condolences and asks that you continue to respect their privacy during this difficult time. Khan, who was born on March 26, 1940 in the Bronx, New York, began his acting career while still in college, according to Britannica. The football standout attended Michigan State University before transferring to Hofstra University, where he realized his skill as an actor and was admitted into New York City's Neighborhood Playhouse School of the Theater. Khan is best known to the younger generation for his roles as Buddy the Elf's cranky father in the film Elf and the temperamental Sonny Corleone in the Godfather franchise. But the older generation recognizes his versatility in roles ranging from Paul Sheldon, an author turned prisoner in the film Misery, to Brian Piccolo in ABC's Brian's Song, according to TCM. Khan appeared in many television shows, including Naked City and The Untouchables, before obtaining a film part in Funny Lady starring Barbra Streisand, which allowed him to demonstrate his versatility. How did James die, actually? There's currently no information on how or where James Khan died. However, he has had several health concerns throughout the years. James Khan was brought by EMS to a hospital in Toronto in 2015. The 75-year-old actor had complained of chest problems, according to TMZ. The Hollywood legend, on the other hand, was suffering from a chest infection rather than a heart attack. According to the publication, the Misery Star was subsequently released from the hospital. The renowned 1970s figure was in Toronto to film Operation Insanity. Khan was working on several projects at the same time. Not only that, but he struggled with depression. He just shared further insights about his despair before his death. In a 1991 interview with the New York Times, James Kahn recounted how he used cocaine and battled depression between 1982 and 1987. In July 2021, he told Turner Classic Movies host Ben Mankiewicz about the event, saying, I went through a rough patch with cocaine. When that occurred, my sister passed away. I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't manage it. I didn't know what to do when I lost her, he admitted. Fortunately, the great actor's career was saved when his friend Rob Reiner offered him a role in the gripping Misery in 1989. The actor stated that he had never seen some of the box office flops from this time. He even departed the set of the 1985 film The Holcroft Covenant when he was replaced by British actor Michael Caine. In an interview with the New York Times, he stated, There are images I took that I haven't seen yet. When I started creating them, I was depressed. What am I doing here in the middle of some of these pictures? I kept asking myself. It's as though you're trapped in a corridor. His words expressed that he was facing depression. Khan's career problems align with the NHS's list of clinical depressive symptoms. A lack of desire or interest in things is a hallmark of a healthy body. People suffering from mental illnesses may also experience emotions of hopelessness and helplessness, low self-esteem, and a lack of fulfillment in life, particularly regarding activities that used to bring them joy. James Kahn was noticed looking pale. According to the National Enquirer, Kahn has not aged gracefully. He was observed in Los Angeles for the 50th anniversary of The Godfather. According to eyewitnesses, his eyes were cloudy and he looked to be having difficulty focusing. Someone else said he looked like a skeleton after dropping so much weight. It was hard to believe that this was ever the muscular Hollywood celebrity who spent a year living in the Playboy Mansion, drinking and notching Conquest. Khan has been observed in recent years using both a walker and a wheelchair to help with his movement as a result of several medical concerns. There is no question that things look to be going in the wrong direction. Following a recent back operation, 
James Caan, a famed Hollywood actor, seemed frail as he was pushed in a wheelchair by his son Jacob in 2020. The 79-year-old Godfather actor was spotted with his 21-year-old son as they made their way to the Vibrato Grill Jazz in Los Angeles for supper. While out with Jacob, James kept a low profile by wearing a camouflage jacket and a baseball cap. His devoted child, who was likewise dressed in a large black sweater, kept things simple. Insiders told Mail Online that James was in a wheelchair because he had a back procedure. Mike Kajansky, Khan's assistant, was part of a small crew who kept Jimmy alive for the previous five years due to his poor health. So far, no official notification has been made regarding James Khan's cause of death. However, considering his senior age, Twitter users believe he may have died naturally. Despite this, no announcement or authorized website has been made to support this data. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comments section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.